and welcome back to Fair New Vlog. It's Stray Kids Comeback Week with their first Japanese album. Today is Monday and I have to do quite some work because I have three deadlines tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not stressing out funny enough because I'm like, well, whatever. <laughs> no, one of the companies actually, they delivered their deliverables too late, like a week too late. So I'm very relaxed about that one and another deadline I am It's a fun deadline. It's for fun work. So anyhow, I'm gonna get back to work and then later I will talk all about my language studies Of course the Stray Kids comeback, but that will be happening later this week and also the books I'm reading this week because they are very interesting for my language studies and culture studies that I'm doing Anyhow, talk to you later you are currently seeing my Tuesday entertainment. You probably already saw a theme going on and that's Korea. <laughs> uh, so over here I have a manga, it's Reliana. And I'm actually, funny enough, reading this in German because with German I am reading a lot of mangas in German to up my vocab because, yeah, your girl can't speak German, but my vocab is so lacking that I have a hard time speaking German. So by reading a lot, uh, it helps me. This is just my way of learning. It helps me so much to just read. Then the next one is an historical YA mystery thriller, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. It's The Red Palace, written by Jun Her. I really like this author because I know she always does a very good do job with doing research. And I've heard that some people were comparing this novel with the K-drama Rookie Historian, but then just a bit darker. A hell of a lot darker, actually. Um, and I like Rookie Historian. Currently, I'm re-watching it during my lunch breaks. And... Yeah, that shows, goes to show how much I like the series. Then over here I have a history novel, A History of Korea. Actually, I was ordering these two books in my last vlog. Um, this is probably the novel that I'm not going to finish during this week of reading. But a girl can try, right? But <laughs> no, I don't think so. How many pages does this have? Oh, not too bad, but the font is very small, so yeah, anyhow. And then we have the very famous novel, Kim Hyo-young, born 1982. I'm not sure yet which one I'm gonna pick up tonight. I think for sure The Red Palace, um, because I am in the mood for more light entertainment. And maybe I'm also going to study some German. I'm sitting over here for a change. No, I actually was just shooting a video. And I was like, why not just keep sitting here and just talk about Stray Kids, the sound. So let's get my phone ready. The sound was the song that was on repeat for the last few weeks. Oh yeah, before I forget, I will just give my first reaction right now. And then an in-depth review later on because I haven't fully yeah it's it's not ready in my brain i can't even speak anymore <laughs> uh, i haven't fully digested every song because i was blown away so the sound was on repeat for quite a few weeks i or quite a few weeks ever since it came out oh that was a few weeks ago though anyhow <laughs> um i really like that song and battleground was the second song or is the second song on this album and oh my this is truly really the song that blew me away because i did not expect the sound of this song i mean i could have expected it let's be honest with a song called battleground what else could i expect but this but no the loud noises and the rhythm, everything, I did not expect that. Which again, is weird because I should have, it's Stray Kids. I truly like that song. I wouldn't be surprised if this song was actually made during Kingdom. 
Is, is that weird to say? I don't know. It has the vibe. Anyway, uh, Lost Me is a bit of a slower song. I haven't have a real opinion about it yet. Don't Let Me Love You. I... It immediately catched my ear when I was listening to it because we just had an accident and now he's coming with this song? What is it all about? Like, first, can I be your boyfriend and then this? What's going on? Now I'm so... I mean, I'm always curious about their next work in Korean, but I'm now even more curious about the next concept of the album, Korean album, because we went from accident and then now to Don't Let Me Love You and then what's next? We'll see, we'll have to see. Novel is actually right now my favorite of the newer songs, just because it was so unexpected. We have I Am singing first and most of the time it's one of the guys of Three Watcha who was singing first, which I guess makes sense. That's if you're all sitting together in a booth. I think they are the producers, they probably one of them sings first so they can take lead and then write everything down for the others. I don't know how it actually works but it isn't very strange in one of the three Racha stars. So if you have one of the folk Racha who mostly are later down the line during the song, it does catch your ear because it's a bit different. Um, but I like that Stray is just always changing things up. So for right now, I really, really like Novel. But then again, I always like Foco Watch other songs. They are most of the time one of my preferred songs when it comes down to the units. So it's not that strange. Then we have Case 143 and Chill from the Mexican, but then now the Japanese version. We have then Scars. And I'm like, why is Scars on here? Especially because Scars had its own release in Japanese. It was a Japanese official song. It's even one of my favorite Stray Kids songs of all time. I'm wondering why it's on here though. It probably has to do with the Stray Kids storyline because why else would it be here, right? And then we have Thunderous, the Japanese version. And I mean, Thunderous was already from the No Easy album in Korean. But okay. And then we have There. I don't really have an opinion about There. It's just the second released song before all the others. The I mean, the songs that really catched my ear were Battleground, Don't Let Me Love You and Novel so far. And I really like those songs. Actually, I really like the full album. I just got two packages and I'm so excited to open them up because I think you guys are also think it's a lot of fun. The first package is from Cute Stuff. I really like this shop. They have a lot of BT21 stuff. One of the things is from that. And the owner, I really like her. She wrote me the most lovely card ever. I had a question to her and I asked it on Instagram and yeah, it has to do with what I bought from BT21 because I was looking for a travel buddy because sometimes I really have bad anxiety and it really helps to, yeah, hug a teddy bear. But I wanted to know the material that it was made of and she wrote on this card, like, that she asked the Koya <laughs> um, that if she would take good care of me during my travels. So... Yeah, thank you so much, Davy. It means the world to me how much care you always take with just packaging it. Like, look at this. So let's open it up because I cannot wait to meet Koya. Look how cute Koya is. She is so fluffy. Or he, is it he or she? Probably he actually because it is from BTS. Anyhow, uh, I think this is a perfect travel companion that I could ask for, like... This is so cute. Uh, this makes me really relaxed for my next trip. And lastly, I bought stickers from the brand Cutie Squad. It's a book lover sticker sheet because yeah, I wanted this team as my bullet journal March team. 
I really like to work with things in my bullet journal just to make it more fun and colorful and I really wanted to use some pastel colors and let me have a look until it's focused and I think pastel colors from the books are perfect for the team I have in mind. The second package is a bag. I bought this one for my upcoming travels but also as a cute daily bag because I was really in need of a new bag because my others are, well, they are totally worn off. I read certain milestones with my own company and I always told myself once I hit a certain milestone I want to get myself more a luxurious bag and I really like the Marc Jacobs tote bags but unfortunately they are a bit out of my price range but I saw this dupe from the brand Esprit it's a German brand look how beautiful I really like it it's super lightweight and one of the things that I like is that you can dress this one up and dress it down it's officially the business line of this brand but yeah it looks businessy but then again I think this is super playful to have this one where I can put a keychain on like from BT21 or an other K-pop group and then it's dressed down. Also the shoulder strap is very sturdy, I like it. The only thing I dislike a little bit is the pockets inside, there are only two. This blue one and then a grey one in there. This one is the only one that can hold my phone because I really don't like to always hold my phone in my hand. I know a lot of people do, but I'm not one of those people. And I would have loved to have one more separate space in here. So yeah, this bag is gonna be there for me on my travels together with Koya over there. <laughs> I just came back from the Thursday market and I bought some yummy snacks. And that works out perfectly because I don't have any work to do anymore for today so I want to study some Korean history. Friday is for reading more books and today I'm gonna start in this novel. It's very short so that's actually nice so hopefully I can finish it this weekend. I haven't even finished my last book or I already started a new book and this time it's an audiobook. It's called This Is Not A Personal Statement written by Tracy Badu and I listened to it <laughs> almost two hours, uh, one hour and 40 minutes uh, while I was on a very very big walk. I really liked it but now I'm gonna chill, bullet journal, use the stickers I bought earlier and some nice colors. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use Tabilo or my Tombos. We'll have to see. Welcome to the wrap up. So let's first start with books. And the books that I haven't read are Reliana and the Red Palace. Yeah, there weren't enough hours last week. Um, but I am planning on reading them this upcoming week. I hope, fingers crossed, <laughs> that I have the time to do so. I did, however, start it in A History of Korea. This probably will take a few months to completely finish. I mean, it's not a race with this one. It's a history book. There are so many studies alongside it that I want to do so. So I'm going to take my time. But I also started in Kim Jong-born 1982. I really like it. I haven't finished it. <laughs> But I do am in love with the writing style. It reminded me a little bit of Han Kang. I mean, yeah, they write completely different in a way, but also when it comes down to the melody of describing certain things, I don't know why, but <laughs> it reminded me of it. It could also be because I haven't read that much Korean literature yet, so maybe it's just the way how Korean literature works. Literature. <laughs> I'm not sure yet, but hey, I'm here to find that out and I'm highly enjoying myself. There is one book, however, that I did finish and that is the audiobook, This Is Not A Personal Statement. I started reading it while I was on a hike on Saturday, just because I want something differently than just music. And 
the story just tacked me along and I was like, wow, this is such a good story and I was not expecting the storyline taking it where it was going, like, and the ending, I was blown away. I thought the storyline would go completely differently, but then it was like, nope, we're gonna do something unexpected. And I loved it. I have not been reading that much YA in the last few months, but that one was a very good one. Now it's time to talk music, Stray Kids, the sound, their first full-on Japanese album and I truly loved it. Let me have a look. So I talked already a bit about the sound in another vlog uh, when it came out with the music video <sighs> and I really liked it. It was unexpected on one hand but on the other hand it was like so Stray Kids and a perfect start to the album. Then we go to Battleground. Okay, so Battleground, it's so Stray Kids. And not just for the harder music part, but also the softer tones that you can find in that song. But the lyrics. Oh my, they blown me away. They were like, so good. I mean, all the songs on this album were so good. Like, when it comes down to the lyrics, I was... Yeah, but then again, Stray Kids is very strong when it comes down to lyrics. I think besides BTS, they are definitely one of the strongest of the boy groups that I follow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Battleground, I think that's definitely one of my favorites of this album. Then comes Lost Me. It's a bit of more quiet song um, and first I was like is this fitting enough you know with the whole album but then again because there the last song on the album it kind of made sense to me but also it felt at first a bit of the old one out to me but when you then go to the whole storyline of the album it does make sense but it's not my favorite. I'm gonna be very honest with you. <laughs> then we have Don't Let Me Love You. This is one of the stays fave. Um, but unfortunately, it's not my fave. It's very interesting because I remember with Ordinary that most people's fave was Charmer and mine was Lonely Street. I don't know, it says more about me than anything else. Um, but Don't Let Me Love You, it's really much in line with Red Light, then Taste, and now Don't Let Me Love You. It's this toxic relationship. Um, and personally, I'm not here for it. It's not my kind of style of music, I guess. Um, but nevertheless, of course, it's a banger. Um, novel, the next song, is so sweet. It reminded me a little bit when it comes down to the sound. Um, to Blueprint and The Few. And those are one of my favorite songs of Stray Kids. So, of course, novel is my fave of the whole album, the sound. The lyrics in this song are so, so powerful. It's... I don't know how to describe it other than I love how they basically play with the listeners uh, with some of their lines. I also really like that it's almost like a fantasy song, uh, something you would see more with DXT, but then yeah, of course, it has this typical Stray Kids sound. One of the things that I actually realized when I listened to the full album a couple of times is that it's very much love related. So it truly is an expansion of the Maxident world. Of course, we get the next few songs are Case 143 and Chill, um, the two songs, but then now the Japanese version from Maxident. Then we get Scars and Thunderous. So, Scars was already released like a year ago and I didn't 
about it why it was on here initially but then after of course a couple of times uh listening to the full album i was like oh wait hold on hold on hold on i started to get it because the whole album is telling a story of with battleground the struggles the internal struggles you have with life in general and everything that's coming down with it toxic relationship and then you're building again with novel and then it goes even further with telling you i love you and then again you go with scars so it's it's like a bumpy road <laughs> oh you go on and then with thunderous and then with there i think that's the perfect ending to the album like it's tying everything together um it's very much a breakup song and like i said before this makes me so curious to the next korean album because what's gonna come next after this breakup song so we have this build up love and then when there it's ending it's like it's the breakup in conclusion i really love the sound and i seriously cannot wait for another stray kids comeback but then again i'm like boys take a rest because they still need to finish their tour they have still a couple of encore stages and they're also gonna come down two times to Paris. One for Music Bank and one time for Lula Palooza, which both I won't be attending, unfortunately. But I'm excited for all the content that will probably be filmed during those shows. Anyhow, that was it for this video. I hope you liked it and to see you next time. Bye!